and they're going to learn more than just reading fast. They're learning the whole complete learning system, aren't they? And yeah. especially if you're, I sit there and I think, if you're out of college, you think, and some people make about this much of a mistake and start thinking, well, I don't need to read as much anymore. I'm out of college. And, and we all kind of go, wrong. <laughs> you're going to read more than you ever thought you would. But now your income is directly related to your education. Now, when I say education, it's not what they, they trained you in college to do. It's what you're doing every single day to increase your value to the marketplace. If they increase their value to the marketplace, do they make more money, Howard? You still like with Zig, Zig Ziglar. Zig would say, rich people have big libraries, poor people have big TVs. <laughs> and he's right. Uh, what you know is what determines your income. A brain surgeon makes more money than a floor wiper because you'll pay more money to have a tumor removed than to clean your house. Right. Uh, the, the other thing is since information doubles every six months, I don't care what you're doing, staying on top of the information is taking a significant amount of your time. Cut that time in half and you have more time to spend on your business and more time to spend with your family. So it's about being successful in a knowledge-based economy. It's no longer a luxury to read quicker, it's a necessity and it isn't being taught. And you're right, it's not about fast, it's about learning. I thought maybe I could give people a little tip on what to learn. Sure. One of the things I do want to encourage you, what Howard's talking about is what you get at the imspeedreading.com website. And he's created a really phenomenal program just for me and saying, hey, Pat, here's the thing that will help your audience. So if you're listening and you want to learn faster and be more and really keep up with I'll say your industry, but even more than that, keep up with the world around you, then go to imspeedreading.com. Get the, the material. Now, it's guaranteed, so I, right? Yeah, and it's actually, I've given them a $150 discount off of my normal price. So they're you actually. Rock. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and you I'm letting them much. try it for 30 days free. And if they need help, I give them my personal contact information. I will help them. I was a teacher for 10 years, mm -hmm. and I'm still a teacher. I don't think it's about selling a program, it's about changing people's lives. So if people need your help, you should help them accomplish what they expected when they got something. The good news is very few people call because they made it so easy very to good. learn. And one yeah. of the secrets is what do you learn? Yeah, what do you learn? There's only five things you really need to learn. First thing is the new words. About 80% of any new subjects is vocabulary. Right. Second thing are people and names. Well, who's in the book? What did they do? Third thing is any formula, a statistic, or number, or date. You have to know those things. They're there, not for decoration, right. they're important. You look at the headings and subheadings inside of a nonfiction book, and you're looking for the five most important ideas. And the last thing are the questions. Now, most people read questions at the end. Then they say, oh, I don't know the answer, and I have to go look for it. I read the questions first. So I know what I'm looking for. Right. Then when I find it, I go, this is what I'm looking for. And it takes me a fraction of the time to find what I need to know. And by using that strategy, learning those five things, we did a group of kids aged 11 through 15. We gave them a 30-chapter book in lifelong developmental psychology, which is a sophomore book in college, not nice. a freshman book. And 18 students took the CLEP. We want to write that down, C-L-E-P, for credit. And 15 out of 18 students passed it in one week. Done with college psychology at 11 years old. Nice. And the beauty is, now when they apply to a college, they have college credit. Mm -hmm. They're a much better prospect. They have a higher chance of getting that scholarship money. And the confidence that that youngster has when they enter college is one that I've done this, I know what I'm doing, and I'm going to do really well when I get here versus college scares me, I don't know how I'm going to handle this, and then you have a 70% dropout rate because they can't handle it. They can't read, write, or count fast enough to do the work. Well, and here's the other thing that's kind of important. You know, you talk about six years versus four years. I went through college in five years. I paid for most of it myself because I worked in the oil field during the summer uh, on a rig, and I got a lot of money doing that. Well, that helped a ton. I came out with not a lot of debt. The kids that are coming out today... And greasy hands. Yeah, uh, <laughs> greasy hands. I, I guarantee I was greasy everywhere. Um, and, but the thing was is that I came, I came out of that. I didn't have much debt. The kids that are coming out... My, I have a son right now uh, who's uh, been at Lamar the last four years. He is... 
uh, going to come out with a ton of debt because he didn't he didn't pay with it uh, with his sweat equity. He's done the borrow the money, pay it back. He got a lot of college uh, uh, grants and and uh, some scholarships and things because he implemented some of the things that I taught him that you taught me. But the fact is, is that he's going to come out with a lot of debt. If he goes five, six years, that's going to add twenty to $30,000 a year. They're going a house without the house. Right. And I think right now they said that college debt is higher than credit card debt. Oh, it's in incredible. Country. And it's, it's actually a, a, f a revenue source for the government in a big way, like yes. more than taxes. And the thing that's really funny, though, is, and this is why I want to say, you know, 30000 or $60,000 extra when you could invest $147 or $149 and get what? Learn how to learn. So not only you get through school, and this is the big piece, you learn how to build your own company. 